Hello folks, Chris in Arena Studio. It's the 29th of January 2018. So uh, if you are following me along with this little VOG then you'll know exactly what's going on. Now I'm trying to work on this pinky and I'm playing it in different tracks in different styles and different sort of genres as well sort of thing, uh, if that makes sense. So if you know where we've been up to, I've done exercise one which was this. Okay. Okay, and then last week's was uh, fingers one, two, four. Whoops. Okay, well, this week it's a combination of fingers one, two, three, and four. So it's basically this. Whoops. Bit sloppy today. Okay, so now it's time for a bit of practice. Okay, so that's the lick that I've been uh, blasting. I'm around about, what am I on, about 125 beats per minute on that. I'm just starting to fail. If you notice when I'm playing it, there's just the very slight little glitch in there. So I know that if I work on that around about 125-ish this week, I'm going to get rid of those little glitches and just iron those out and smooth it all around. But the other way that I will practice this as well is I'll probably do something uh, where I'll just slow it down maybe five, six beats, something like that, to around about 120, and then I'll try and combine all three exercises so far, so I'll maybe do three or four on each one. So I'll give you an example. It should go, hopefully, like this. the idea so you can tell from the way I'm playing that now um, that there's just like I say I'm just on the threshold of it failing I'm not quite nailing those notes perfectly it's not so much the speed it's the accuracy of me fretting hand of what I'm doing so I might just possibly pull it down a couple of beats or something like that and just see whether that takes the error away and then that's the threshold that I'm going to practice those three exercises at uh, for the course of this week so uh, normally I would do this I'd probably do two minutes on each exercise and then probably 10 minutes of varying it where I'm doing the... Okay, so that's how that would work. And then the next thing I would do is try and move some of those shapes into uh, a specific key of a track that I'm jamming over. And it happens to be the same one as last week, this week, which is G minor. So hopefully... Um, if I've got this right, I'll try and apply this lick in various positions over the fretboard uh, to give you an example of what it should sort of sound like. So now it's time for a bit of a jam. Idea. So if you 
noticed when I was cycling the riff, I, the things that, I don't know whether you picked up on this, but the things that I picked up on there was timing. The timing was a little bit sloppy when I was cycling those riffs over and over and over. So that is the thing that it's just woomph at me this morning is the thing that I need to put right during the course of this week. And hopefully, if I put the time and the effort in, I will get those things right Um during the course of this week. If you are following all this, then it'd be great if you would subscribe to this channel because it really makes my day and if you give it a thumbs up. But really what does float me about is when somebody actually communicates and makes a comment because uh, I could be doing this wrong even though after all these years of teaching guitar, and playing guitar for a living, you know, it's like 35 years I've been making me a living out of music now. Um, but to me, there must be something somewhere that possibly I've not seen, that you've seen, that might help me, and vice versa, you know, what I'm doing might help you. So I think if we can all sort of scratch one another's backs, I suppose, uh, it heads us all in the right direction. We all achieve those uh, goals of trying to show our creative sides, I suppose, more than anything with the guitar. So for me, again, it's pointed out a little bit of timing issues. Um, and, uh, you know, we can all rip around the pentatonic scale to a degree, I suppose, can't we? It's making it sound musical as well. And also, without playing something like this where it just sounds very sort of shreddy and too intense, where it's a little, 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 if you get me meaning. Um, so things like that I would use sparingly. But what it's all about, the end result for me, is to get more control and strength in these in this third and fourth finger so if you are on this journey with me leave me a comment and i promise i'll get back to you and i'm sure we can uh, help one another out okay and i'll see you next week with another update on my guitar playing vlog 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 guitar playing videos see you bye